Kuan has successfully obtained all four keystones and undone the first seal on the boundary. Her journey is far from over, however. She must now venture into the forbidden depths of the Soul Plane, where the Quaternary reside. The Imperial souls of these four powerful rulers are the key to breaking the final seal. This will be no simple task, however. Will Kuon be able to accomplish it before expending all nine of her lives? I really like the fact that when I come back to this game, we've got the narrator recapping uh, the current progress so far. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so I made the discovery that going back into here, I could pick up some extra spirit points and all that, all those jewels, but it seems that they don't repopulate even if you go into any of the soul beast stages and then come back out so i can't do it indefinitely so i can't really grind like i thought i could so we're just gonna move on and meet the members of these what quaternity is i forget how you pronounce how they pronounced it question is eeny meeny miny mo catch a bad and demand of in i'm going blue i like blue chapter two Imperial, Imperium, Quat, Quat, To the east of the Soul Plain extends a great river. Its waters, birthed from the body of Navier the Quaternary, contain toxins that rot the very flesh of the dead. Ew. Fiends acclimated to the environment take advantage of this to weaken and hunt their prey. Though they'll find no such luck with Kuon. <laughs> As fate would have it, she has been gifted with both an innate resistance to said toxins, as well as the ability to walk on the polluted waters. Convenient. Kuan, like all cats, detests soaked fur. That powerful emotion may have given birth to this miracle. Pondering is a luxury for another time, however. Trace this river to reach Navier and stake your claim to the Imperial animal she possesses. Huh. The narrator's voice suddenly became a bit robotic at the end there. But yeah, we're not gonna question it. <laughs> so I gotta remember, I have turtle shell. That is valuable. I have porcupine spikes, I have the snake, I still have the moose! Oh, that works. Good to know. Now, I'm assuming cat mode would get me in there, but... I'm not going with that this time around. Oh my lord! <laughs> I almost ran right into that. Okay, uh, just now noticing the tiny things on the stalactites. Whoops. Actually, hold on a second. There we go! And another one. Uh, goodbye to you too. Go through here as normal little feline cats, but I will go up. Moose! Ow! Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. Nothing in there, huh? Nope. Oh, mud. Ooh. 
Oh, this place will not let you go any higher. Oh, because I'm, I'm out here. I got it. That feels like another another potential uh, extra fight with this particular Duggle. Oh, damn it. I wanted to kill you. Okay, fine. We'll do this. Okay. Oh, that didn't help. Wait. Oh, I see. Ow. Well, poor timing there, sir. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the ceiling again. You just dropped out of nowhere. Okay, what? Nope. Let's see if I can upgrade anything. Specifically from down here. Uh, let's see. Unlocks the Soul Trails map? Unlocks Anabratch's Force. I... I have to unlock maps? Interesting. Well, that's not what I'm here for. Slightly increase. This is what I'm here for, I think. Reduces the amount of hope points required. Nah. Not caring about that anymore. Causes platforms to appear when fighting soul beasts in feline world mode. Interesting. Causes pla- Hmm. But, again, in feline mode. These would be useful if I was going down that route, but I'm not. So, hope for the hopeless. Oh, oh, you again, King Thingamabob! I have no clue what's happening. No clue what's happening. Okay. Yep. Damn you. Oh, damn it. What's that again? Ah! Damn it. You're quick on this this time around. I don't know why I didn't... Ah, why am I doing... Oh. No, I, I was right. I was fine. I was fine. Okay, so you're only doing those three attacks, I see. Okay, next one I have some... Okay. That wasn't... I mean, fine, but... Die! For some reason, I could not remember my button combinations. So now I'm gonna have to be careful. Because I lost three health just now. Ah. A test for another day. Ooh, that. Okay. Die! Oh, I did not the fuck. Oh, I give me your spirit energy. I require for keeping my life force. Up. Nothing on the ceiling. All is well. Oh god! No. 
There you go. Okay, that was new. Um, I don't like this. Regaining form. Take no chances. Ah! Dingleberry. Uh. Once again, pray, sir, and... Again, I'm pretty certain I have to do that as I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, pretty certain have to be cat mode again. Definitely have to revisit these stages in the future. I was, I wanted to kill you. Beyond putrid, no cat could consider this real food. Seemingly healthy, which would explain the price, but that's irrelevant. That said, it's worth bearing with for the sake of returning to the real world. You can now recover a portion of your health at rest spots. But probably as a normal cat, not as I am. Unless you're saying I've unlocked something that allows me to have that benefit of rest spots now. Oh! Oh, goody. I feel better now. Alright. This is probably it. Possessed a slimy, mangy cat of your ilk to enter these pure holy grounds. Oh, you're a germ infested pest. Are you trying to spread disease to my beautiful, delicate children? <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh me. You could at least have the decency to respond. Where does filth like you crop up from, I wonder? This is awful, dreadful, abhorrent. I can't even feast on you out of fear of being left disease-ridden. <sighs> you poor, disgusting little thing. The least I can do is crush you so hard into the ground that the parasites can feast on you. Lady, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Don't know if there was ever going to be a point where I could like you, but you just cemented your fate! Oh, uh oh. Hi! 
Oh, you fucking bitch. Ooh, this could be the first time I'm gonna die. Oh, did I really just... Pine needles, eh? I am... Oh my god, it is porcupine needles. Ow, damn it! Oh, okay. No, I, I apparently didn't have my uh Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I Oh, this is gonna this is gonna suck. I'm dead. What is this? Virus activates automatically. Spread a virus to everything in the facility, killing them slowly but surely. Though its activation is automatic and cannot be stopped, the virus itself has no effect on Kuon whatsoever, especially effective against germaphobes. Interesting. I guess I have officially become a true monster. Genitor. In exchange for consuming all of your hope points, you can release all the souls gained through Animate Revive and reset your death counter to its original state. Though all of your skills will be lost as a result, Koan will be able to regain her original feline nature. I mean, I only have 14. But no. I'm sorry, this got interesting. Am I staying like this now? I'm staying like this now! The first of four Imperial souls has been obtained. But three of the Quaternaries still remain. I mean... Holy shit. What have I become? Now, I also think this is my last life. So if I die again, that's it. Locke, you got anything to say say to me now I'm in this mode? I'm being a good boy and staying. Do you mind going away? I really don't want to fight you right now. Okay, it looks like you're... Alright, anyway. same thing. Alright, same thing. So... This got very interesting. I wonder if... go. I wonder if this is like... The last ditch ever... I wonder if there's different unique skills that could be activated when you're on your last life. So many different things that could happen. This is definitely going to be worth... A, multiple playthroughs to see how I mean I don't know if it will change the story in any way other than beating the game as a soul beast or beating the game as a normal cat good ending bad ending or whatever ending you want to say but how the play style changes yeah that, that, all I can say is it's got interesting so tune in next time and we'll see whether this game just got easier for me or 
if I really need to consider not going far enough, can I beat this on my first playthrough with my last life as a progenitor? Tune in. Meow. And welcome back. No uh, recap this time around. Only that if you paid, if you saw the last episode, we're basically now fighting the Quantra. Quantra. They've said it multiple times, and I still can't pronounce it. Fighting like I guess the main four keepers of the Soul Plane realm now, and we fought a fish lady or a serpent lady, kind of a bitch, and I ended up dying against her and became this version of Kuan now, which is now a virus progenitor. So the gameplay may have just changed for me here. And I think I want to go up here this time. I'm like, I'm li she's literally turning into a real feline demon now. To the north of the Soul Plane is a monumental towering Serac. The earth veins that run through the area's icy ley lines are hoarded by Harland of the Quaternary, who resides at the very... Many of fiends seek out the energy within these earth veins. But be warned, the environment poses just as much of a threat. Seek shelter from the cold as you proceed, else the fiends will gladly feast away at your frozen remains. Scale this glacial spire to its peak, and seize Harlan's imperial anima from her battered corpse. Okay, will do. Hmm. Okay! Oh my god, was that just simply by touch? Oh my god! This might have gone too easy now. Oh, I'm frozen. Just the implication! Wow. Just wow. I have truly become Death, destroyer of worlds. Really? I can't. Oh, I was gonna say. There's no reason to do so. <laughs> oh my lord. My mere presence is killing these things. I don't know what else to say to this. <laughs> this is so OP. This is so OP. This is the game literally giving me easy mode. <laughs> Still waiting for something to not be affected by this virus, uh, virus of mine, and then just. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh. I see. I hear already? No, it's just another. Okay, he is. It is getting hurt, but by tiny. by tiny bits. I, I don't know whether to get too close to it or not. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am a fucking beast. A true fucking beast. <laughs> I don't even need the food. Oh no! Oh, wait, that's ice? Shadow pass it, I guess. Ow. Whoops. Take some of that energy, thank you. Perhaps, gotta not be that close. and tatters. You wouldn't know who the culprit is, would you? I mean, sure. It's kind of my fault for buying it knowing you would probably rip and tear at it without a moment's hesitation. Hey there! Don't look away from me! At least give me some respect! Hey! <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> Okay, if those aren't actually freezing me, at least as far as I know. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm misinterpreting this. This is keeping me warm. The environment is freezing me. Of course, that makes more that makes more sense now.
Yeah, that's what the sound is referring to. It's saying... It, it, it's like the Sonic, you're losing air sa music sound. Thankfully, it doesn't mean auto-death just because I get frozen. this way? Uh-oh. Nope. No uh-ohs. No uh-ohs. All good. I'm about to freeze. here. And who might you be? Huh? I don't appreciate the silent treatment, though I do respect the fact that you made it all the way up here. And I know why you did. You're here to lay your paws all over my delicate parts, aren't you? Uh it's not, which means you're here for my imperial anima figures. Tisk. Allow me to ask, what exactly do you think an imperial anima is? It's a soul. My soul. I would perish without it. If I've made myself clear, then please leave. It's almost time for my siesta. <sighs> Let me tell you something interesting about the Imperial Anima that we of the Quaternary possess. Their power seems to stem from a certain spiritual energy, one of another world entirely. One could call it a desire, or a creed, perhaps. In simpler terms, you're out of your depth. I can shatter you to pieces in an instant. So tell me, what is it that drives you? What compels you to challenge me in spite of that? Whatever it may be, I doubt it's worth losing what's left of your life. Or perhaps that's precisely why you can't afford to back down. <sighs> Leave, you'll be much better off for it. <sighs> Would you at least have the decency to respond? Conversations are supposed to go two ways. Ah, fine. If you refuse to leave, then you leave me no choice but to brutalize you. Okay, gonna admit, not the voice I was expecting from this creature. Oh, sh Sorry, looks like looks like this turtle shell is still OP. Second phase. Gotta remain cautious. Whoops, I got frozen. I was frozen! Uh, I was still. Oh, wow, I can't use my total shell anymore. I don't know what's happening. Ah! Okay, just because I've got, I became a progenitor doesn't mean I'm incredibly invincible yet. Ah! I lost all my energy, which means now I should start hurting. But 
I got you. The Sovereign. Yep, yep, yep. I fully understand, but nope. We're riding this beast mode all the way, baby! <laughs> Two of four Imperial souls have been obtained, but two of the Quaternaries still remain. So yeah, wow. <laughs> Having this virus mode on is... It definitely turned this game into easy mode. I will have to see, though. If I manage to beat this game with this virus mode, will that affect the overall ending? Because I feel like in this mode, Kuan is more aggressive, which could lead to a worser ending if she does manage to get out of here. Because I kind of imagine that if you beat it as normal beast mode, maybe there'd be a more somber but less destructive ending. Ultimately, you, we really should be trying to beat this game as normal cat mode, which I would assume is probably more hard mode since you're trying to not die constantly and not turn into a beast. Again, I don't know how this game's going to end eventually, which is why I'm here for the ride. Um, you're also probably going to notice that I've combined both the last episode and this episode together because it was a little bit short. So, a little bit short, so I decided, you know what, let's keep this together. So yeah, enjoy the double feature. And probably will happen again on the next episode because these stages aren't quite as long and they're not long as much anymore in my OP states. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now officially, thank you for tuning in. I hope I was able to keep things entertaining for you and we'll continue this next time. Until then, take care, stay safe, wash them beans still, and I hope you are having a good... Wow, I completely got my original ending. Anyways, take care, everyone. <laughs>